<laughs> thank you very much. And, and a big thanks, of course, to the trustees, to Dr. Hudson, to our provost, Dr. Pluckin, to our dean, Mary Bradley Jones, and of course, to Paul Ventura, the chair of our sustainable business group. And thank you to my dear friends and family who have supported me through this process and who are here with me today. And I can't let the moment go by without thanking my very well-trained service dog, Diego, who without his long walks and encouragements, I never would have been able to make it through this program as well. So those well-trained dog, well dogs are very important too. <laughs> And a big congratulations to my fellow classmates on this wonderful day to celebrate our academic success in completing this extensive and accelerated program together. It is with your knowledge that I've grown and your strength that I've continued. I'd like to share two insights today, facing truths about myself that I hope reflect similar experiences to your own. The first insight came in an epiphany during a, a scientific expedition during one of our first breaks. I was traveling out to the Marquesas Archipelago in French Polynesia, and we were rowing to shore. And once we landed, we were met by the Marquesans, a very friendly sort, and I began to ask directions for where to find the ceremonial sites. And no matter how loudly I spoke, waved my arms, how slowly, loudly, waving I spoke, they really just did not understand me because I was not speaking Marquesan or their second language, which was French, being in French Polynesia. And so what I realized was they were all getting frustrated because they couldn't engage with me and, and nor I with them. And so what did this teach me? Well, it taught me that I do need to speak the language to engage. I need to speak the language to communicate and to ultimately have impact on the world around me. And that we need this language, not as a soul crushing experience with business, <laughs> but we do need to learn, those of us that are focusing on business and especially sustainable business, we need to understand that language of business. And it's through this program that I've learned this language, gained a master's in business administration which is so crucial and unique to what we have learned in this language of sustainable business, putting these two things together. How to apply business principles to further demonstrate environmental social responsibility within the business framework. <laughs> and to keep our hats on. Um, it's up to us to apply this momentum of business to further environmental and social impacts in ways we could not without understanding our language of cost-benefit analysis, discounted cash flow rates, as you're familiar now, net present value, marginal abatement cost curves, value propositions, balanced scorecards, servant leadership, and appreciative inquiry. With this language, I was able to use my actual class assignment with a cost-benefit analysis to get the first 20-year commitment to a wind farm for green power energy at the company, my company. I was able to demonstrate the value of voluntarily putting a price on carbon for the emissions related to the electricity and business air travel in this company's organization. Yeah, thanks. And I was, I was, if I should, I should let that clap go, thank you. Um, and also to use the language to invest the proceeds from that carbon fee into driving efficiency, green power, and social environmental programs in emerging nations. I was able to learn from others who have gone before me and those by my side to carry on. This leads me to my second final insight, <laughs> and that is there's really no need to panic when I'm clueless. You know, that moment where I would get the question presented and have to write a paper or, or a discussion question for us online in our forums and have, I, I, I have no idea what the topic was or what I was going to write. 
not to be afraid of that. As Nelson Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it is done. And I, there were so many moments like that in this process. I learned that I can be saved by trusting the creative process called learning. That I can trust discovery and be supported by teachers, mentors, my fellow classmates and colleagues that we're all in this crazy world together. I learned to use this strength, this confidence in my ability to decipher riddles and be friends with curiosity, maintain the attitude of an explorer. Some related terms that I think you will understand, courage, focus, conviction, perseverance, creativity, risk-taking, hard-working. These are all terms that are familiar to you as well because we all have been explorers. We have that soul and the attitude of an explorer. I believe that we've, at, we've demonstrated this attitude through our accomplishments that have brought us here today. We've made it through, even with health issues, great loss and panic attacks on my part. As J.K. Rowling has mentioned, we do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. We must imagine the sustainable path. It is our responsibility to show others how to walk this path with courage. That momentum is a powerful partner, and let's use this power of momentum from these years together. Let's step forward, create our own job, the right job, be disruptive, risk everything for the right thing, because the planet depends on it. Thank you.